Welcome to Guest Adventures, where everyone is a guest, including me. Today we stopped in Ionia, Michigan, on our Michigan Cities tour. This was another train station for the Pier Marquette Railroad. Now, the Depot Salon. Got this nice old corner building with the tower. Perfect for a small town. Very unique brick road still on Main Street. That was the National Bank, and there's the future home of the Ionia Community Library. I just love these old town buildings. It's the Jimmo's Brothers building. This is the Cornell Alley. A very interesting history of how it came about. Again, I don't like to read these whole plaques. So if you'd like to read it, freeze and read. Like a lot of small towns, unfortunately, a lot of businesses have closed up. And here's a building that they're refurbishing, put new windows in. Looks like Batman's here in Ionia. What's the scale back on the vehicles though? That doesn't look as fancy as usual. Nice uh, BPOE, whatever that means, building. The El Mariachi Mexican Grill. Right downtown in the old S. Agostini block. It's the Restore Church. Actually, they got a couple buildings. And more space for rent, in case you want to start a business in Ionia. It's right across from very unique buildings. Somehow they squeeze that one little building in between the other two. and the Ionia Town Clock, given to the city of Ionia in memory of Josephine Graf Strong and Norman Howell Strong, March 28, 1994. And there's your clock. And back to Cornell Alley, they have these plaques on the wall. Talks about some of the people from Ionia 
And there they are in the windows. There's four of them. James H. Kidd. Hard to read, you can't get real close because there's bushes here, but there's Fred W. Green. And there's Fred. The last one, Julia Wheelock, Bertha Brock, Holly Dye. And that's in the uh, Cornell walkway. And so we're back to the Depot Salon, the old train station. That was a quick look at Ionia, Michigan. Thanks for coming along on a guest adventure where everyone is a guest, including me.